keep rattling along, please. Ben, are you ready? Give it up for Ben. my way to Bacharai, Steinberg, Heimann, Schoenen, <laughs> to uh, treat myself to <laughs> compound, but it's weird, <laughs> to, uh, to treat myself to a cheeky brochin and slice of Kaiserkuchen. <laughs> so I'm going down the path, the footpath, and the path starts to get slower and closer and smaller, and it's encapsulated now by a corridor of trees. And there they are. <laughs> fucking Hans and Broomhilda just fucking bumbling slowly along the path just ahead of me, just genuinely enjoying the journey. <laughs> yeah, one of those. I'm trying to get my mouth sight on, and this happy couple that look like they've been in love since the Shakespearean era are just filling the entire width of the path. <laughs> so immediately I get behind them. And there's no way for me to slip past. I'm at the mercy of these fiends, but I'm an asshole and a egotistical narcissist, as my, as my therapist continually misdiagnoses me. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> uh, but what I'm trying to say is that this is not my first rodeo. So I get close. Like, not COVID safe, close. I want them to know that I'm there. I want them to feel my breath on the back of their necks. I want them to go, I want fucking hands or Fritz, whatever, to go, Oh, scheiße, Schatzelein, the young paper snapper wishes to pass us. Bitte, Jungen, vorbeigangen. <laughs> cunning bastards. I bet they live for this shit. The amount of times that this happens to me, there has to be a whole club of these people just patrolling the footpath, waiting for a schnell boy like me. <laughs> What's the name of this club, I'm glad you asked? The Walking Dead? The Rolling Stones? The Berlin Wall? Until this very moment, I have never understood and related more to the motive, passion, and creativity of Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, it's, thank you. now, it's important for me to tell you that it's not just old people in this club. There's other kinds of monsters that pay no <laughs> We have children. We have tourists. We have funeral processions. <laughs> We have people pretending to be turtles. <laughs> turtles pretending to be people. <laughs> we have Hindu parties on the prowl for attention. No, Karen, no! I don't want to sign your ridiculously oversized cleavage. <laughs> anyway, at this point I'm practically in a throuple with them. Slide, silently stalking them down the Guinness World Record longest and thinnest path. And at this point you're probably wondering, why doesn't he just say Entschuldigung bitte? <laughs> to which I would reply, one, because I'm an awkward coward. <laughs> and two, because this is Berlin. It's illegal to speak to anyone else that you don't know. In fact, here it's considered a mental health disorder. And you'd be carted off to the loony bin for experimentation and the advancement of science. <laughs> anyway, eventually the path starts to open up and I'm ready to leave these suckers in the dirt. And it's right in this moment of hope 
<laughs> they play their ultimate trap card. A move so evil. <laughs> a move so evil that just thinking about it will give you lifelong trauma. They just fucking stop. <laughs> stop dead right in the middle of the path. Just stop for no reason. I've had no time to change trajectory or slow down. So I slam on the brakes. I know I am pissed. <laughs> And now they notice that I'm there, now that I'm practically inside of them wearing the glove. You know what they do? They, they gently split apart, open up like the Dead Sea, turn and look at me with stupid smiles on their stupid faces, looking at me like they've just done me a favour. So I breeze through, and you know what I do? You know what I do? I breeze through, I turn, I get both big, intimidating, scary, I go, and the crazy eye, I go. <laughs> Thank you, Shun